But I'm, I'm, what I'm doing basically right now, guys, is giving you a sort of overview of um, a, a, of what's been going on between me going away and me coming back. So effectively, I'm giving myself an overview of what happened between me going away and me coming back because I've forgotten what I was doing. Now on YouTube, I'm the Tough Man, and welcome to back to some more Not the Beats for an episode number ten. Episode number 10, guys, and the first episode has literally just gone out on YouTube. <laughs> That's how far I am ahead, and I do apologize for that, guys. The main reason why I am so far ahead of myself is uh, a couple of reasons, actually, because I know I never really finish a series, and I'm trying to not do that by getting in and getting stuff done. And obviously, while I'm getting stuff done, I need to be recording it, and I need to be showing you guys what I'm doing. Uh, so please keep that in mind um, when I'm recording. I will be quite aware ahead of you guys. And obviously, as time goes on, the episodes will get longer to try to record, uh, whereas, you know, the episodes should be coming out semi, somewhat semi-regularly, one every three days, maybe. I'm hoping that's going to be the case, and I'm hoping that I can at least keep up to that. Which brings me on to my next piece of news. Um... <clears throat> Ooh, don't know what happened to my voice there. But next uh, next year, the start of next year, which basically, guys, is not very long away, I'm hoping to have my work hours change slightly. And this means that I'm going to be doing uh, three full days of work, basically, which frees up a good amount of space for me. Now, obviously, family stuff, uh, getting my kids and all that sort of stuff needs to be in there as well. But it should mean, fingers crossed, that I have more time to record, which is good for the channel. It can only be good for the channel, guys. Uh, so, yes, we've got that to look forward to. Then The other reason why I'm so far ahead of my recordings... I'm sorry, I've forgotten to go into the second reason. The other reason why I'm so far ahead of my recordings is because, um, originally, I've been saying to you guys, obviously, if you follow me on Patreon, you get access to the videos uh, a week before they come out. I've actually been away for the last week, so I've been un unable to actually put them uh, public on YouTube. The first episode has just gone up now. Uh, I'm back off my week off, which means that, um, uh, yeah, these these episodes should be coming quicker. Anyways, let's get straight into it then, guys. Let's No messing around. You guys have been looking over there and thinking, what is that? I'll tell you guys. I'll tell you what is that. Let's walk over. This is the little area of which everything gets done. At this moment in time, guys, we've got some metallic queens over here, which are all doing the biz with uh, some proven frames in there to be able to go ahead and get as much squeeze as much from these guys as physically possible and that gives us these metallic combs 30 in here guys which is absolutely fantastic that's not what I was meant to do because every time I do do that that's what happens see I need some form of, of like filter um, on here but unfortunately it's not working like that Let's see how many drones I've got there guys <laughs> I've got no interestingly enough I've got no queens um, let's put them back and start slapping away at it until we've got one left in there. Good. It just stops the uh, the things going into there. So I've been popping these into here, guys. And interestingly, interesting. I'm, I'm looking up. I'm waiting for my face. Interestingly, guys, if we pop round here, these guys, uh, I've got some clockwork queens in here. Um, they do work as I thought they did. So, oh, no, they don't work as I thought they did. I remember this now. I'm not quite sure how wide uh, or how big their territory is, but the clockwork bees are over here, um, and I put some clockwork bees back over there. It still doesn't work, guys. They just don't actually create... Look, I'll show you. Just nothing. Just absolutely nothing, guys. Uh, that is full of power, though. So maybe that's not a good, uh, a good way of showing this. But let's pop that there. I think that's because... Has it got any... Residual energy because I'm pretty sure I did not keep the clockwork bees. I did I kept the clockwork bees over there. Oh Well, I'll shove them back into there then see what happens. Um, oh, that was it. I had a problem uh, As you can see they do actually work separate to each other So as long as they're outside of each other's range you can do two more of the uh, the clockwork engines so there's something to keep in mind. The other thing to keep in mind, guys, is be very careful what bees you actually use. Because a clockwork bee, um, somewhere along the line, if we take out our portable analyzer, if we analyze one of these, exactly this one, uh, you can see the active, the effect is actually a retraining 
effect. Restores the effect chromosomes by any pure breed career bee if it has lost them. Place the bee you wish to retrain on a nearby flower pedestal. So it's got that, basically. I don't know where it came from. I have no idea. I think maybe after a certain amount of, um, of generations, maybe it switches to a retrain, but it completely messes up this clockwork engine. Doesn't work, guys. Just completely doesn't work. And I thought, oh, no, what's happened? Does that not work with that? Does this not work with that? What, what's going on? But anyway, it is working. It's creating these metallic combs, this is, and uh, it's making this metallic propolis. So over here, what I've been doing is just going ahead and smacking it all into here, guys. I don't see any point, uh, any reason why not which is good. You'll also notice in my inventory you'll see snowballs and that is because I do believe I did some work in the nether. I'm going to go there really really quickly but I'm, I'm, what I'm doing basically right now guys is giving you a sort of overview of, um, a, a, of what's been going on between me going away and me coming back. So effectively I'm giving myself an overview of what happened between me going away and me coming back because I've forgotten what I was doing. You know, the usual. All this needs to get recycled, guys, and it certainly will. We'll get to that in a second. Oh, yeah. The um, snow. Look at that. Woo! Now then, Mr. Snowman. Um, he goes and creates a load of snow for me, which is great, because I needed that for in the uh, acclimatizer, which is over there, to actually acclimatize one of my bees. And that is, namely, I think... If I remember correctly, and don't quote me on this because this is uh, I am called Goldfish for a reason. The Obsidian Bee uh, needed to be slightly less. It needed to be slightly colder so it could actually run in, uh, in the area. And um, I don't seem to have it here. I can't remember. But basically I've got Fiendish and Sinister there, guys. And I actually need the uh, Obsidian Bee to get copper. I'm after a copper bee. Okay. I am after a copper bee, which requires a fiendish and one of the obsidian bees. The only issue that we're having with this, guys, is it simply is too hot, um, too cold, should I say, for the um, obsidian bee here to actually work. It's got no flowers and uh, it's too cold. Really annoying, guys. But if I remember correctly, and I, I might be wrong with this one... Um, where is it? Warm, up one, humidity, normal, uh, both one. I can't remember why I needed that. I can't remember why I needed the uh, the the, um, uh, the snowballs, guys. I definitely did some work with the snowball to make something. I don't know what it was, but I did. Uh, was it the gold bee, actually? It might have been the golden bee. Metallic... Warm, up one, normal, birth two. So that's fine. Normal, birth two, normal, none. No, I think uh, warm, birth one. Warm, up one. And I think this is um, an area which is not warm, so I had to cool it down. I think that's what I did, guys, in this thing. You just shove snowballs in here and um, it sort of cools it down. And, and also, it, it goes towards the humidity, so it gives you more humidity, I think. So if we take a look at our golden queen right here, which doesn't seem to be working for whatever reason. God damn! It's too cold! So that means that warm up one has actually taken over once again, which is really annoying. So what I've been doing, guys, is just basically shoving this. That's what I was doing. I was shoving this gold bee into there. So when this actually changes to both one or just whatever then both one is actually br really really good for for this here we're using power as well let's actually go ahead and grab our clockwork engines off here because that doesn't really need all that power anyway so this however sucks power up like nobody's business so we need the temperature to come down the humidity is absolutely fine it's both two there we go both one guys both one it's fantastic now that will work in this uh this environment and that's what I've been doing. Woo! So, um, as I said, in between episodes, I'm going to be looking at creating a stable power source. And I've had many ideas. And this is where I need your help. I'm just going to go, you know, going to go traveling ahead with what I want as an idea for my sort of power. The basic end goal for power for me is solar panels. I think that we're not going to get any better than a good old solar panel, guys. Uh, coal, glass, 
electronic circuits. We need redstone, basically, before we can do anything like this. But that creates power out of absolutely nothing. There is no better way of getting power. The only problem is it creates it uh, as EU. And I don't know if there's any sort of converters kicking around. There is. No, there isn't. Kinetic to rotational, rotational to kinetic. There's an electrical engine which converts EU to RF. So, okay, so there's one way of actually creating RF here, and that is using the electrical one. Tin, we can get at this moment in time. Pistons, we can't. We need the redstone. So, we are stuck, my, my friends, on redstone because we need the obsidian B and a steadfast. Now, that shouldn't actually be too hard. We've got an obsidian B, but the only problem is... It won't run in this dimension, and it won't run in that dimension. That one's too hot, this one's too cold. So, we're going to have to do something a little bit different. We're going to have to try to up the temperature of... Oh no, hang on a minute. No, we just have to put it down, which is absolutely fine with me, guys, because we've got snowballs. I'm getting completely and utterly confused. So that's what we need to do with a separate Obsidian Queen. I don't want to use the Obsidian Queen that we've got. Actually, no, that's probably a good idea. Because if I use the Obsidian Queen we've got, at least we can start breeding them in the overworld. Which hopefully they will take the place of um, uh, of their parts. That one, unfortunately, it didn't. The gold one. But the Obsidian one... Where the heck? It's over here, isn't it? The Obsidian one, I'm going to take this, guys. That one, them, unfortunately, would be absolutely no use to us. Because they will, of course, be warm... Um, an up one as well. So we need to shove this one into the cooler, is what I like to call it. This cooler here. And uh, we need to see that one go onto uh, both one as well. And hopefully then that will split off and then we can start trying to uh, to make more with these guys, obviously. Try to make more with the uh, with the warm and both one rather than both uh, more with the up one, if that makes sense. It's just a pain. And going through some of your comments that you've actually put in the first episode. Thank you very much for your comments, by the way. Much, much appreciated. And um, going through those comments actually made me see something that I didn't actually know. And I'll tell you guys now if you haven't seen the comment. But if we take a look at... Um, ooh, the Proven Frames might have one. Let's have a look. The Genetic Decay is actually... A very different thing to what I thought it was. I thought genetic genetic decay was its lifespan. It isn't its lifespan. Uh, when you've got pristine stock, it's absolutely fine. You've got nothing to worry about about genetic decay. It's when you've got ignoble. Uh, when you've got ignoble, the genetic decay on there, it can actually make it so that you don't get a princess, which means it basically killed off the line of bees. And I have described this in the past before. Uh, so please do keep that in mind. I've taken off, as you can see, we've got little blobs floating around here. I've taken off the uh, the bees. What do they call them now? The the good de the decent bees um, that give me a lot of stuff. Was it? Um, I, I, it's on the tip. Yente bees. They're the ones. I've actually taken off the yente. Why is that not redone itself? That should. Um, I've taken off the NTB because the princess, of course, if you put them on a thingy, it just like sort of sorts itself out. So that's where I've got on. I've got them all on the metal ones because these are worth a hell of a lot more than what the other ones. Look, we've got eleven metallic combs. I've just been sat here rambling on for hours. Nice one. We've got thirty metallic propolis, which we can change into metallic grains, which we can change into physical, actual um, things like uh, like iron, copper, all that sort of stuff. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pile these into here because I want to use these um, as recycling. I don't want to use that one. That's a warm up one as well, so we'll keep hold of that one. We'll keep hold of them. Because, guys, we're going to go into the quest book because I have been a busy man. We've gone ahead and gone shopping. Obviously, we've got... Uh, look, did you want to build a snow bee? That's where I got it from. 16 honey drops, you get a snow and pumpkin. We did that. Um, we've got this as well. We've got the ability to get rubber trees. I think you've seen that, actually. Um, what else did I do? I don't think I did anything else. Not, like, apart from get these hives. But, really, you're not missing much with that one, guys. However, if we go further on down the line here, you can see I've been very busy in collecting a few different bits here. So, we've got iron dust, copper dust, tin dust, and aluminium grit. And we can get all of this with metallic grains. And would you look at the reward we get for this? 128 
metallic grains. I will take them guys because that is going to be massive for us when we're trying to go ahead and create some power. So I'm really, really happy about the fact of that. So, all the right reasons to breed this one. Oh, I see what it did there. All the right reasons was definitely one of the better albums of this. And let me know in the comments if you know what album I'm talking about, guys. If you know what per what actual uh, band I'm talking about, let me know. Nickel, not super useful beyond needing it to make thermoelectric generators. But hey, you can always build a tower out of blocks and dedicate a monument on the back to some rock band. This B is breed from metallic bee combined with an iron bee and we will get into the different individual bees as we go along i've started with iron i've got gold we will be working on guys don't you worry about that but i've got that oh we got a music disc in a jukebox nice nice little thing there but that gives us 16 nickel ingots as well as you can see got more chests i don't know if i told you about this but i got more chests which is also good. We're going to put the jukebox away as well as the uh, the musical disc. And further on down the line here, we've got lead dust. Lead bees is a much simpler affair to obtain than some of their metallic counterparts. Take a metallic bee and cross it with an obsidian bee. This will give you lead. It's not simple at all. Obsidian bees are ridiculously hard to get. <laughs> metallic bees. I don't know if we've actually got metallic bees on auto sort of like breeding at the moment. I can't remember. But we have lead, and that's the main thing. We have lead. I'm going to shove that in there with a the nickel. Uh, I'm actually going to go and squish all this down. There's no need to have it all set out like that. So there's another one. Gold dust. We get 16 gold. Gold, while well, you could just set up a few pigmen around your tax collector and call it a day, the golden bee will offer a little better output of gold and is much simpler to automate. That is indeed the case, and that we will definitely be going down the gold route, as you've already seen. The next one is silver, and we get 16 silver. So silver is not used for a whole lot of things, but you will need it to make electrum in order to advance with some immersive engineering tech. And we will definitely be getting into that as well, guys. But power is the main thing for me at this moment in time. And immersive engineering is not something I'm going to be going down uh, the power route with. At this moment, I think we could get, we could possibly get away with maybe making like a water mill or something like that. Uh, an easier way of making power, maybe. And clay. Clay is produced from a clay bee. This bee likes things moist. Keep that in mind when you're trying to breed it, as you may have to use the acclimatizer or genetic manipulation to get it to produce. Clay bee can breed by com uh, combining a dirty bee and a marshy bee. We did that. We actually did it the other way around, so we didn't need to worry about uh, which wh the place we needed to breed this particular bee. But, uh, well, actually, if we made a clay bee, which we have, then uh, you, you might need to acclimatise the actual clay bee. I think that's what it's getting. We've got 16 created clay, so we're not going to be needing clay anytime soon, guys. That is for sure. Um, did I do anything else? Yes, I did. I already did this because I just picked the one up that I had. We get a hell emulation upgrade, a winter emulation upgrade, and three more industrial apiaries. These hives have some fantastic upsides and some downsides. For starters, they require power to run, but by now, that should not be a problem for you. I love it. I love how it thinks it's really easy to come across power like this. They can also not use frames. Instead, you can make upgrades that we will go over soon. For now, craft one or 20 of them if you choose to use them for a large-scale production. But we've got that. We've actually got one of these hell upgrades. I think it was placed over here. No, it was placed in the actual one that we had. Uh, but we've definitely got another one of them winter ones. And three more of them. Which I don't actually physically need at this moment, but never mind. And I think that's, yes, that is literally all we have got to at this current moment in time. Blooming heck. It's nearly a full episode of me talking about where we've actually got to. But we've made good progress, and that is the best thing since sliced bread, I think. Right, we've got to be careful what we're doing here. It looks like I haven't got a Yente B on there just yet, so I'm not particularly fussed about that one. Um, that one has got both one. That's fantastic. This one has up one. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the drone that we've got here and take this and slap it in the cooler. Can I not open it with, like, nothing in my... Oh, duh. It's... <laughs> you know, I just amaze myself with my stupidity sometimes, guys. Oh, that's still on up one. 
That's terrible. But we want the gold B first. We want that gold B to be done. We definitely do. I'll keep that obsidian queen to one side. I'll definitely keep that golden princess to one side. The obsidian drones we'll get rid of because that obsidian queen, when we get when we put it down to both one, will produce drones, and it's basically not good when it does that. Um, so we will do that ourselves. And then the golden drone, that one is also up one, the same as what this one was. Hopefully that will come down soon though. But I am basically going to be going towards getting the redstone b once i've got the redstone b i think that's where we're going to be calling this episode at an end call it like a a bit of a a catch up with the toff a bit of a catch up with the toff guys but i will be back shortly now then guys i am back and as promised we have the redstone queen which is absolutely awesome if i didn't need redstone as a flower for crying out loud, <laughs> this is absolutely brutal. It really is, guys. I'm getting this genetics uh, sampler here, but I've run out of the uh, the, 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 the thing in my bobs, the, uh, the thing is. Uh, let's have a look in bee shopping here. I'm pretty sure they don't have them in here. We have to actually make them now, which is a pain. Um, so these things, these little things, that's the one. Templates. So we've got a problem here. Um, because the templates, not the templates, what are they called? Samples, sample things? These things, blank samples, they're the ones. We need tin. We need redstone to get these blank samples. So I'm at a loss here as to how on earth I am meant to get redstone. I mean, literally, I have no idea. I've been looking around everything in here. Um, and look, we've got these mutagen producers. We've, we've got everything we need to be able to get ourselves um, what we need. However, the issue is not power per se, but the issue currently is there, the genetic imprinter, which is absolutely fantastic. We've just got a problem. We've got nothing here that will allow us to be able to get a uh, flower effect. So we can't change this redstone queen to change the flower, which is a pain. <laughs> Oh, it just means how on earth... Oh! Oh, okay! I did not realise that we could do this. Okay, I'm not bothered about flowering slower. I'm not bothered about speed... Uh, I could be. I could be bothered about that. Um, I could be bothered about having that as well, actually. Territory is fine. We don't mind having a few territories. Um, right, yes, I don't mind that either. Fertility, three. That's a nice one to have if we ever need uh, lots and lots of things. So, humidity tolerance, none. That's not a very good one, though, is it, really? To have no humidity tolerance. Um, and we basically just shove them in our thing here. And the smeltery bee does it all for us. In fact, let's do that. And it'll pile them all into here. And what we're trying to get, guys, is this not to have the ability uh, to use redstone as a flower because we simply do not have access to that at this moment in time we need to get redstone before we can use uh, before we can use it as a as a as a flower obviously um, so that's just a pain i mean why on earth have they not given us the ability to have redstone here i mean they have in a sort of weird sort of way if i can find it here, uh, they give they give us eight blocks of redstone, but we have to get sixteen redstone before we even manage to do that, and that's just a pain. That's a real pain, guys. It is. But I didn't realise we can actually just smelt these if we don't like what we get, which I'm quite happy about. So, um, what we want to do is get ourselves something that has just a normal sort of flowery range. Even rocky would be absolutely fine for us. We have tons of forest bees though and that's why i've been using forest i mean we've got five here we've got five blank samples let's shove that into here got plenty of power as well so we'll put them into there we'll put that into there fingers crossed guys we will get flowers um as a as a byproduct here so we can stick it onto the redstone queen we do need to put the other machine down get it to get some power so speed slowest not exactly what we're after so we'll put that back into the smelting bee 
And uh, whilst I'm doing this, actually, let me go ahead and grab our clockwork engines, which is going to help us absolutely massively with our thing here. And we're just going to shove them onto there. Lifespan, a shorter lifespan, not what we need. If I don't get it in the first five, guys, I'm going to do this off camera in between episodes. Um, but just showing you what we're after. And then we can shove this genetic imprinter down, which will allow us um, to basically imprint these things onto our bees. And that's... Oh, there it is! Oh, beautiful, guys, we've got it. Right, we can keep that... Um, we can keep that. It took me so long to try and get it last time, and I just did not get it, guys. We need to hook it up to the power as well as uh, as well as everything else, guys. So, wire connector and a bit of wire coil. Oh, I've never been so happy. <laughs> well, I, you know that's that's a bit of an overstatement. However, it's been fantastic, guys. Let's just ow, ow! What was killing me there? I mean, there's just no need for this. So let's pop that. Ow! Seriously, I'm nowhere near anything that's going to kill me. And there we go. We'll hook that up to the power. This one's not actually hooked up to any power. Uh, and tolerates rain. False. We're not really bothered about that one. We're not really bothered about that one. This. Where's the flowers one? There we go. That's the one I'm bothered about, guys. Woo! That is the one I'm bothered about. So I can't remember how this actually works. I think we need labware. Where's the labware? There it is. Genetics labware. I'm pretty sure we need that. And we need the template, do we not? How do we create a template? Um... We make a template with redstone. Are you absolutely... Are you joking me? Are you actually joking me? How the hell is this possible? I'm at a loss as to how to get redstone, guys. Um... I, I can't find it anywhere. There's no redstone or We can only get redstone from bee produce from a redstone bee. We can get grindstone... Do we have to go down this route? Maybe Britannia route to, uh, but then we need glowstone. God damn! We need crystal grains. Now I've looked at this before, but the only thing is we need crystal combs to do this, and to to get these bees we need redstone. Ah, oh, it's just an absolute pain. There's just no way of getting redstone other than that, guys. This is terrible news. This is really terrible news. Block drops from a redstone. Oh, porous stone. I mean, dungeon chests. Squeeze, mechanical squeezer. No, we don't have a mechanical squeezer. We need redstone off for that as well. We can trade village trades. Emerald for a piece of redstone. There must be an easier way of doing this. This makes no sense. It literally makes no sense. And then a 1.74 chance of getting it out of a, a, a scrap box. I refuse to believe that that is the only way of getting redstone in this pack. We need redstone to create the template to give them redstone. Is that right? Let me have a quick gander before I finish this episode. Alright guys, I've taken a quick look around in the quest book. And I have actually found a quest in the Gendustry tab. That allows us to get this. So imprinting, nothing to do with werewolves. Once you have genetic samples, which I do, you can combine them with a template. They can then use that template to imprint the genetic information onto a bee. The best way to do this is to first imprint a drone and a queen and then breed them together. God damn it. <laughs> I find it best to keep one master imprint containing the best genes that you have obtained so far for speed, fertility, temperature, humidity, tolerance, flower choice, etc. But leave the species slot blank. Then you can imprint any bee you happen to breed with this template. You need to uh, you need you there with this template to make production much simpler. No longer will you have to chase down any special flowers or manually adjust the tolerance of a bee. 
uh, then each species of bee you breed should work towards extracting the species type and combine that on a separate template. That way, if you, if you ever need that type of bee again, you can simply pop any bee in the imprinter and obtain it. Okay, so the issue that we've got then is we need something to make a template. So we've, we've got the imprinter, we've got the thingamabobbins. I can't remember if I actually got a template machine or something that gives us templates. There we go, look at that, gene samples can be added. How? How can gene samples be added? This is what I cannot remember with Gendistry at all, guys. I'm probably looking around like an idiot thinking that it's something that, yeah. So Gendistry. Let's have a look at this. So mutagen producing mutatron, that's how you mutate things directly. Um, Genetic imprinter, genetic sampler, genetic transposer. So the genetic imprinter, we've got one of them. The genetic sampler, we've got one of them as well. Is it the transposer? I can't remember. We don't have it. Whatever it is, we don't have it, guys. So we got given a few of these. Let's go and take them. Oh yeah, I forgot I got the tin drones as well. I'll have to put them in. Um, so we take one of these, basically. Gene samples can be added. So if we add in, for example, flowers. Can I do this? No? Uh, what do I do? <laughs> what do I actually do? Maybe it needs a certain amount of power before it can be added? No, it can't, otherwise it would just stay there. Um, hmm. Okay, one last thing before I end this episode, because I want the perfect uh, template before I go forwards with this. But what I do want to say to you guys, um, when we look at this, so you've got the genetic template. It says gene samples can be added, but it doesn't actually say... I've gone into the wikis and stuff like that, and it just it's not exactly very clear on how you do this. However, it's very easy. <laughs> you just simply put them in your crafting grid with what you want to put in there. So as you can see, there we go. <laughs> we've got flowers flowers we've got a lot of missing things and that's what i'm going to be doing in between episodes guys putting everything in there but the species i'm not going to put any species in there whatsoever um and i'm going to do exactly what it said in the quest book to follow this guys which basically it says find it best to keep one of these uh, one master imprint containing the best genes you've obtained so far for speed fertility temperature humidity tolerance flower choice but leave the species slot blank then you can imprint any bee you happen to have uh, you happen to breed with this template to make production much simpler and that is exactly what i'm going to be doing in between episodes guys Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this and uh, you would like to see the next episode much quicker, you can go ahead and follow me on Patreon from just $1, guys. It massively helps the production of my videos and uh, it massively helps me out. And it means that you get to see it at least one week earlier than everybody else. So when it comes out on YouTube, you will still be able to see it, though, guys. It will just be one week later. I do hope you're enjoying this series. I'm absolutely loving it. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Until then, I'll be the soft man as always. Stay safe.